Hello and welcome to another Leak Code Solution video. This is problem number 42, trapping rainwater. For this problem, we're given n non-negative integers represented in an elevation map where the width of each bar is one. Compute how much water it can trap after raining. For example one, we're given problem visually with an input height array of 0, 1, 0, 2, 1, 0, 1, 3, 2, 1, 2, 1. And our output for this would be six. And you can see from the graph, we'll catch water between the one and the two, between the two and the three, and between the two and the other two. And for example two, we're given an input height of 420325, and our output would be nine. Let's go through an example. For this example, our input height array is 420325. I drew this problem visually so we can see it on the graph. And you can see from the graph that we'll trap water between four and five. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to do for our solution is create a max left and a max right arrays. And these arrays will be filled with zeros for each index we have in our height array. And we're gonna go through our height array index by index to determine what the greatest height is to the left of our index and the greatest height to the right of our index. So starting off with four, our greatest height to the left is going to be four and our greatest height to the right is going to be five. We can determine this by looping in each direction and taking the max value. Next, looking at the two, our max height to the left is four again and the max height to the right is five. Now looking at zero, our max height to the left is four again, and our max height to the right is five as well. Now looking at the three, our max height to the left is four, and our max height to the right is five, and same thing for two. And finally looking at five, our max height to the left is five, and the max height to the right is also five. Now that we have our max left and our max right values, we can calculate the amount of water we can store, and we'll do this by going through our height array and calculating each spot in our array. So the amount of water stored at each index will be equal to the smaller of the two heights of our max left and max right height minus the height at our current index. So that's represented here by this equation and our output will start off at zero, so we'll go through. So for our first index, our smaller of our two heights is four and minus our current height is four equals zero. So our output is still zero. Now at our next index, our smaller of the two max heights is four again, and four minus two is two. So we'll add two to our output. Our smaller of the two max heights is four, and our current height is zero. So we'll add four to our output. Next, our smaller of the two max heights is four again, and our current height is three. So that's four minus three equals one, and we'll add that to our output. Now our smaller of the two max heights is four again, and our current height is two. So four minus two equals two, and we'll add two to our output. And finally, our smaller of the two max heights is five, and we'll subtract our current height of five, which is zero, so our output remains at nine, and we'll just output nine at this point. Let's jump into the code. First thing we're gonna to wanna to do is check to see if we're given an empty height array, and if it is, we'll just return zero. Now we'll get the length of our height array. Next we'll initialize our max left and our max right values, and these will be arrays of zero of the length uh, equal to our height length. Now we'll find all of our max length height values for our array. And we'll do this by looping through our height array, setting our left max value equal to either our current height or the left max value toward the left, depending on which one is bigger. Now we'll get our right max values and We'll be doing the same thing we did for our left max values, except starting at the end and going backwards. Once we have our left max and right max values, we can initialize our output value, which will be our water trapped. And now we'll loop through our height array adding up the amount of water trapped at each index to our water trap value. And this will be equal to the smaller of our two max values minus the height. And finally, we'll just return the water trap value. That's it for the code, so let's run this. Had one small syntax error, forgot to put the brackets i after left max. Should be fixed now, so let's run this. All test case passed, so let's submit. 
our solution was accepted. So that's it for this problem. If you like this video and want to see more content like it, make sure to check out my channel. Thanks for watching.